In today's video, we're going to show we're going to show a very innovative welding torch made by CK Worldwide. It's called a flex lock. The reason it's called a flex lock is because it's like a flex head, and that you can get any angle practically that you ever want. But once you get that angle, you can lock it so it's rigid. For all you people that like to walk the cup, you know it's hard to walk the cup with a flex flimsy uh, flimsy flex neck. It wobbles all around, but, but this one, once you get your angle right, you lock it in place and then you can, you can prop, you can get a really good hard prop on the metal without it wiggling around. All right, well, let's get right into a few applications, starting with this water-cooled version. This is a 230 amp water-cooled flex lock. And we're gonna bounce around and show some tips and tricks. One thing I found was I could use this on my welding lathe because I could get any angle I wanted. Another thing was, you know, lap joints, uh, normally on a, on a welding bench a lot of times you can move the joint around and get whatever get a favorable angle so that your torch angle is pointing in there just like you want it but that's not always the case sometimes you can't move the part the parts too big and then you've got an odd angle and you got to get in a bind to get a, a favorable angle with the TIG torch well with the flex lock here you can just pull it around backwards and, and uh, get your get your favorable angle no matter if you can move the part or not so that was one. That brings me to another uh, another topic. Aside from the, that kind of a lap joint, I used to have to do a lot of these parts where I'd had to stick a stiffener plate up inside a piece of square tubing like this and get a TIG weld on it. The reason I had a TIG weld is because it couldn't be above flush because there was a really tight interference in there with a motor and a gearbox and whatnot. And so, uh, you know, using a big torch like this, this is a number 26 with a full length tail on it, would be fine for walking the cup out on a piece of pipe in a jack stand, but not so fine for getting up inside. Even putting a button on the end of it, I can get up in there, but I, I can't get any kind of decent angle to get a weld. And uh, CK makes, makes this stubby kit that you can uh, shorten it up even more. You can shorten up a big torch to use a small style uh, hardware, gas lens and everything like that. And that's better. That helps me get up in there, but still can't get an optimum angle for a, for doing a lap joint like that. I could make it work if I absolutely had to, but um, it's just not not what I need. So that's where the little flex lock, the water cooled flex lock with the small nine and, and twenty style hardware comes into place. I can not only can I get it up in there, but I can actually get practically a perfect angle for that lap joint all the way up in there, four or five inches, no problem. And the other side, if I want to do the other side, I can, I can swivel it over, lock it in place. Again, get a, a darn near perfect angle for doing both sides of that lap joint. So let's, we're going to do that now. And I found a little trick in doing joints like this where I, had to, where I was kind of up in a, in a bind. Instead of just freehand, and I prop the torch and I pulse. So I set this Miller Dynasty on 0.7 pulses a second. 45% peak time, 33% background, and 150 on the current. And uh, that lets me just rest the cup on the, on the weld and scoot it in between pulses. So I'm actually propping the cup on the weld, and then when it, backs, when it goes into low pulse, I scoot it forward about a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch and then prop again. And that turned out to be a really good way for me to steady up and uh, with, with me holding the torch at such a, a long distance here. I'm not using filler metal on this. This is a stiffener plate. Of course, this is just a demo here. It's not going anywhere, but you know, the, it's just a stiffener plate to allow an axle to get a little bit more, more thickness to, uh, to mount into. You can actually do this same technique without pulse, just pulsing the foot pedal, which is what I'm doing here, but you see it's not as uh, uniform and not as distinct. But, but the torch, the angle and everything is what really makes the difference here, being able to get it up in there, get the right torch angle, and prop it using that little trick. So even sticking a torch way up inside a piece of square tubing, you can get a halfway decent looking weld if you've got the right torch. All right, another little job came along while I was messing with this torch. Bunch of little special wrenches here, and I'm gonna prop them up straight up in the air like this to kind of resemble a small bore piping socket weld. 
and I'm going to walk the cup on this. This is kind of borderline too small of stuff to walk the cup on, although a lot of people do it. If you're good at it, you know, it's, it's, there's no problem, but a lot of times the cup slips off on small, small things like this. But you do need a rigid torch, and you do need the right angle. So this torch lets you get both, lets you lock that angle in, and then the torch won't wiggle around and make you slip off of that ledge. This is a very common operation for pipe fitters and boiler makers, making welds like this, walking the cup, but having a rigid torch and getting that right angle helps, it goes a long way. But some, not everybody wants to walk the cup, you know, I'm going to TIG finger this next one in here like this. And while that angle was great for walking the cup, it's not great for, uh, for freehanding or using a TIG finger. So I'm going to swap it over to a kind of a backwards angle a little bit, lock it in place, and you see that, that points it right in there and lets me slide all the way around just like I need to. So it's a versatile torch. Here I'm just leaving the wire just like I did walking the cup, leaving the wire in the puddle. But you can also, if you want to make sure you get complete penetration into the bottom of that joint, you can dip it in and out and watch the leading edge of the puddle. Just another technique, freehand walk the cup, either one, torch is good for both. All right, here's another little situation where this torch comes in handy of being able to get some odd angles with, with the torch. The handle on this thing, this is a common little joint for people that fabricate uh, automotive hot rod parts and whatnot. You know, laying a little bracket on the table like this, but then having to weld a little saddle fish mouth joint on a tube. And, uh, you know, it, it's just this just helps you get the right angle. Let's take a little look at, a, at welding the quarter of this thing. I'm pulsing with the foot pedal again here. Just because I'm experimenting with it. No other reason than that. It just gives a distinct ripple pattern and keeps your heat from getting away from you. All right, let's take a look at now another application. With this rigid, uh, rigid neck big torch here. I could walk the cup on something flat but only for a certain distance before my hand ran into the plate. But with the flex lock I can get an angle where my hand is up off the plate and I could walk the cup. I'm going to put this root pass in this uh, 3 8 inch thick test joint here and I'm walking the cup and I'm wiggling that root pass right in there. It's an 8 inch gap, 8 inch filler rod, 37 and a half degree uh, bevel and uh, feather edge. I'm probably using about 95 or 100 amps here, but just wiggling that thing in there, not much side to side motion, just trying to wiggle it and keep it going straight. Walking the cup is a good way to do this, keeps your hand up off the plate, and it, it provides a very uniform way of progressing your travel speed. You can't do this with uh, any, any old torch on flat plate, unless you turn it sideways and put yourself in a severe bind. All right, root pass done. Let's put the hot pass in now. I'm going to swap over to the air-cooled version or the gas-cooled version of this uh, flex lock. This is a 150 amp torch. Got a really nice flexible whip on it. That's going to make a difference on how tired your hand is at the end of the day. And you can see with this super super kit here, you got endless possibilities of different gas lenses and stubby nozzles and different heads that you can make up and leave made up and all you have to do is change the whole head out. This is the standard style torch hardware used out in the field. That's no problem, but for the hot pass here, I think I'm going to put on a, a gas lens to see how that works today. It's got different Teflon insulators and gas lenses and different cup sizes. When you're walking the cup, you got to have the right cup size, keep your tungsten stick out right and your torch angle right and everything. And that looks like that's going to work out pretty well for me. Let's put the hot pass in. Now, hot pass is called a hot pass with TIG welding, but oftentimes you're you're at the same amperage that you are on your root pass because if you go too hot with it, you'll uh, you'll melt all the way through and you'll suck it back and you'll ruin the pretty work that you did on the on the root pass. So 
you want to see you want to see that puddle cooling a little bit behind you as you go from side to side and normally it's not always done with the rod left in the puddle but often it is because that rod will cool off the uh, the root pass and keep you from sucking it back but you can see I can wiggle this thing in there using the gas lens uh, with no problem and the, the angle that I got with that torch lets me do the flat piece without my hand bumping well that's the hot pass let's do one more pass cutting it up about 10 or 15 amps not doing much different you can see that wiggles in there just fine all right well that is all I got for you today if you got any questions about the CK worldwide flex lock torch make sure to give them a call there's their 800 number and there's their website and you saw it here on WeldingTipsAndTricks.com. Thanks for watching.